everybody! Today, let's make something sweet. Do you have a sweet tooth? Ask me. Usually, I don't eat sweet things. When I go out you know, in the restaurant, later after finishing a you know, meal, they ask us a you know, dessert. Usually, I don't order dessert because I feel really heavy. But sometimes, I feel like eating some sweet things. So just one candy. Today, we are going to make Korean traditional candy, beet jeonggwa. In English, beet jelly candy. Jeonggwa is usually made with hard fruit or stems or roots, sliced thinly and then cooked with sugar and then eventually turned into really sweet jelly-like candy. But today, I'm going to make jeonggwa with beet. Everybody knows beet is very healthy. It has a, a little strong smell, uh, but when you make this jeonggwa with this, all the smells are gone and really texture is good and really chewy jelly and tasty, really tasty. This guy I already measured is like around 9 ounces. 9 ounces is about, after peeling, it's going to be 8 ounces. So before peeling, as you know, this guy is all inside, like a color is like a bloody, you know. <laughs> I like to wear my gloves. Cut it. You can use a peeler too, but this is a small size, so I like to use my knife. I will just grate this. So because it's just a small amount, kind of easy, quickly you can grate. Really pretty color. When I give my beet candy, beet jeonggwa to my friends, they never guess what is made with. The taste is like a tangy, sweet and tangy. Almost done. And then eventually I got the really small, like look like a triangle shape. So this is a good tip. How? How you can do? Now just you saw that I just do up and down, up and down, north and south. But you can do this and I go one direction now. Like this, one direction. This one only left over. Let's add here. And put it in. So this is gorgeous, isn't it? This is eight ounces. We need to make it a little tangy and kind of flavorful. I will use lemon. So one lemon and then I'm going to squeeze out. This lemon has so many seeds. This is the lime squeezer. But just the so total around the two tablespoons lemon, like freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now we need to add sugar. Sugar, eight ounces, eight ounce beet and eight ounce sugar which is one cup plus two tablespoons sugar. And pinch of salt. Mix this. And I'm going to put very low. We have to cook really over low heat so that the beet pulp is going to be all tender and then it tastes like a kind of chewy jelly. The consistency should be kind of a thick. This is uh, really nice now, but uh, too, too thin. So it has to be thicker and also a little cook. I will let the water evaporate a little bit. I will keep stirring occasionally. You see, this is a really low heat. So delicious. 
when this my candy is all done, I'm going to put it this pour this here. This is a parchment paper. Sesame seeds. Toasted sesame seeds, about two tablespoons, like this. You gotta be really patient. If you, oh, I wanna do quickly, and then you, you make the turn of the heat, it's going to be burnt. And also candy color is going to be dark. It's not pretty, and also smells kind of burnt smell, not good. To maintain really beautiful red color, we need to cook over low heat, like this. Let's see, consistency. Drop it like this. Pour this candy in here. Gorgeous, pretty color. Just spread like this. Let it cool down around 20 minutes. We still have a lot of good stuff in here. I like to make tea. Put some water and boil this. Make a nice hot tea. Roll it up. Just press it down, and then I want to like around the eight inch long kind of bar, rectangular bar. So this is vegetable oil. I'll put some of my vegetable oil on my blade of this knife to cut nicely. It's around a half inch. You can serve just like this or wrap this. This wrapper. This is cellophane candy wrapper. Let me taste this candy we made today. <laughs> mm. Sweet and chewy, tangy and nutty, you know. Why nutty? Sesame seeds, you know, toasted sesame seeds. You never guess this is made with beet because it tastes totally different. You can't feel any beet flavor. Today, we made beet jungwa. It's a beet jelly candy. So enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.